Hi guys, welcome to the home studio tour. Come on in and have a look around. Okay, so as some of you might already know, my main instrument is the guitar. Um, I've had many guitars over the years, but these are the ones that do stick. Um, they all have names. This is Oswald. He's very old. <laughs> and if you've seen me play before, you've probably seen me play him. Uh, he's a Yamaha. Then I've got my electric guitar, which is called Sunny. I got him quite recently. I should probably not refer to them as he's. But oh well. <laughs> um, I just love the colour. Yellow is my favourite colour. And my favourite, my newest baby, this is Bronwyn. And he sounds delightful. Um, <laughs> right, I really love these matte tuning keys. I've also got a ukulele, um, but I don't really use it that much, but it's there if I need it. Um, all of these models and uh, instruments I actually just got from Amazon. Um, They've served me well over the years, so don't feel like if you want to get into something like this that you have to buy a really expensive guitar, like you can still find good quality sounds from pretty fairly decently priced guitars. Okay, so these are my microphones. I've had loads of different ones over the years, but these are the main ones that I use now. Um, they're for different things really, so this is my um, FM57 which is a dynamic microphone, which I use mainly for recording live instruments. And then this is my baby, <laughs> my very new expensive vocal microphone. It's an NT1A uh, Rode microphone, and I really couldn't recommend it more. Um, it's got a little pop filter and isolation shield that comes with it, and it's great for doing vocals um, and getting like the crispest sound. But saying that though, I spent a lot of money on it. Um, the one that I used before that was this. It's just a little AKG perception and it's a uh, USB condenser microphone. wasn't that expensive so if you want to try and get into this I would recommend something like this just to start off. It's also good for podcasts and things like that. Um, and then I've also got some more dynamic microphones for live performance but obviously with COVID going on I can't really use them. So this is my box where I keep all of my microphone wires that I use for recording and other bits. Okay, so uh, I've got a couple of different types of cables and wires. Uh, the most commonly used, which I think most people know about, are called jack cables. A couple of these, mainly for use for like plugging in instruments, bass, guitar, plugging into amps. So these are really handy to have. Um, the next most important, I would say to me, is my XLR cables. These are more for like microphones, you could plug in them into amps and also it goes into my audio interface so when I want to record vocals, it goes straight into my DAW. Um, I've also got an XLR loom, which to be honest, I just kind of like because they're in different rainbow colours. Um, but it was actually super cheap to get. Uh, it was more cheap to get a loom than it was to buy them individually and that means I can, I've always got an XLR cable to hand if I need one. Um, this is the cable for my amp which I'll show you shortly. These are velcro cable ties that keep your wires tidy just like this. Um, next we've got some foam microphone head protectors which actually go with my dynamic microphone set, which you've seen before. And these just come in handy, help with the protection of the microphone. A couple of microphone clips, and last but not least, I've got an aux cable. With a little trip inside my wire box. So this is my amp, it's a Laney AH40 model. Um, I only got it last year um, for my birthday, so it's not really had much use at all because of Covid. Um, but when I do use it, I use it with my little loop station here. This is a, uh, a Boss model, um, which is really great. And the amp comes in handy as well because it's got 
uh, multiple channel outputs. It's got even got a built-in master and EQ as well. Um, so that's mainly what I use it for, but it's primarily used in live performance. So hopefully we'll be able to use it soon. So this is my desk setup. Um, there's not a lot here, but you don't really need a lot to, to start doing music production. Um, as you can see, I've got my studio monitors here and my headphones, uh, which are great for mixing. You need really need two different sort of setups to be able to listen to your mixes properly. I've got a little mini MIDI keyboard here, which I use to input sounds into my laptop and my DAW. Um, and I've got a bigger one at home, actually, but obviously with the lockdown, I've not been able to go get it. Um, this is my um, audio interface, which basically allows me to plug in mics, instruments and listen to my tracks um yeah and then i've got a super good little hard drive here because i need lots and lots of space for all my sounds and i've also got a little uh, extender for my usb port so i can plug in lots of things at once so this is the other side of my desk where i usually keep things like notes and revision little notebooks got some pens here that i stole from kaya <laughs> uh, cute little pen holder, my cork board, got some pictures of me and my mama on here, uh, a little musician survival guide which is very helpful, all my stationery um, that allows me to keep doing taking my notes and of course I've got the OG poster that uh, if any of you know me, uh, my friends from school made for me for one of the first or second performances I ever did and I've kept that all these years just because it's it gives me motivations, something to think about and stay humble with. So yeah. So this is my DAW, Logic Pro X. Um if for the people who don't know, a DAW is a digital audio workstation, which is basically the interface where you lay down your tracks, input your instruments and your recordings, and you can mix and master them to how you want them to be. Um I paid for this software, but I originally started off using GarageBand, which is a free app that you get on a MacBook. But there are loads of different types of software. There's FL Studio, Ableton Pro Tools, and even like you're just starting out, like Audacity is free for recording. Um, so definitely, if you want to have a go, just there are cheap ways to do this, and you just eventually build up the skill. So some of you might have seen this in the recordings of the Studio Home Tour. Uh, which is the start of the official Psycho Beanie merch, which is coming soon. You don't know when yet. And just to say a little thank you for watching this video, I'm going to give you a very, very sneak peek of the beginning of Psycho So, enjoy! That's all you're getting for now. <laughs> Stay tuned, thank you very much. Bye! Welcome to my crib!